Today we're gonna tie this simple bait fish and the special part about this one is that it's gonna be standing up from the bottom. My name is Tony Jemi, I live in Stockholm, Sweden, uh, mainly fish for uh, pike, perch and recently a lot of sea trout as well out in the archipelago. Today we're going to tie a perch fly that came to mind after watching Perch Pro when Linnea caught all those 50 centimeter perches uh, with a stand up jig head on at the bottom. So the idea behind the fly is you have a heavy scalping head that's just there to keep the fly on the bottom. And then we have the Arex 26 degrees bent hook. So we get it to stand up. And then I just have a basic bait fish that's designed to keep a good profile. And then we have the crossfire in the back uh, that's supposed to be like really a lot of movement, very small twitches, current going by that creates the motion. So the idea is to just place it on the bottom, let it stand there and wait for the fish to come and pick it up. So what's really important with this fly is to keep it very light uh, because if you have it light enough, if you do a small twitch, the, it will lay down and then stand up by itself again. Uh, so keep it sparse, light, nothing heavy at all. And uh, other than that, you can tie pretty much any pattern you want as long as you keep it light uh, and with some good movement in the back. You can try some different versions. Here we have one with rubber legs. You can also try one with a wave tail. Here I put on a marabou plume on it to get some movement up in the air uh, or in the water. <laughs> uh, also can try and have a marabou plume tied on a nylon thread. We're gonna tie this scalping head on. It's nothing fancy to it. It's just filled up with epoxy. I use a bit of uh, I do a small thread base just to have the epoxy stick to something and then I also put some UV resin here in by the eye and that's just so I can do a lot of heads at the same time and when I hang them to dry the epoxy won't creep out into the hook eye. So just small thread base for the glue to stick on and then fill it up and make sure the hook shank is placed as high as possible so you get it to really stand up. If you want to know what materials I've been using, you can check out the description below. Let's do this.
thank you very much for watching guys stay tuned we'll be coming up with more perch flies and also for sea trout in the near future if you want a chance to win this fly you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below and we'll pick the best comments and we'll get to fish this fly